What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. This is gonna be consistency episode two. Today I started the vlog a day early because I've got a couple of things to do. Might be something interesting, a bit different to show you. Got a couple of bits of work to prepare for for the next couple of weeks with assessments being handed in next Friday. Friday? Friday. And with that, it is now lunchtime. It's about one o'clock. So let's get the day started. What's up guys, it's about three o'clock now. Um, I've just been thinking, I've just been doing some work and I just stopped and I'm thinking about doing a 10k challenge. Not right now, but um, just in future within the next few weeks um, on the channel. But the thing is, from what I've seen, from what I've watched, 10k challenges can be very, very, very expensive. Um, and I'm a student on a student budget, you know, just a normal budget, but I'm not sure I can afford 10k worth of food. If you think about it, 10,000 calories, let's say you eat 2,500 calories, that's, that's a few days worth of food in one day. So it's four times the amount of money you'd be spending in that amount of time in one day. Um, so I don't know, I might have to save up a little bit, or either that I'll do it in summer uh, when I'm back working I have a little bit more income than I will when I'm here so if that interests you if you want to see me do a 10k challenge let me know in the comments and I'll try and put something together try and sort something out for it but um, like I say it could be expensive so I'll only do it if it's in demand so let me know uh, as well as that I think Billy's coming over for a little bit now just so we can chill have a little catch up and then later I've got some work to hand in tomorrow uh, which I need to go to the library and print off and I need to sort out a couple more bits as well finish off a couple more bits for it so I'll let you know how that goes I'll catch you guys later. Just gonna snack on these here protein bites. 10 grams of protein in these ones because they are the light version. The other ones have 20 grams of protein in them but these only have 10 um, because they're cooked slightly differently. They're slightly healthier. I bought my body power um, for quite a cheap deal actually. I think I got 11 or 12 packs for £10 so it wasn't too bad. They were giving them, practically giving them away at the end of the day. So uh, that's the only real reason I bought them because they are normally quite expensive. Um, but they taste good so I'm having this um, cheese and jalapeno relish flavour. Should be good. Catch you guys later. Okay. Right, it's time to go to the gym now. Um, uh, I've had dinner now. Uh, well, it's more like lunch because I had breakfast late. I didn't show you breakfast because it was only a bowl of wheat bix. And let's be honest, who wants to watch someone eating a bowl of wheat bix? Um, I also had dinner. Uh, it was more like lunch because I had late breakfast. I had tuna, rice, and peas. Um, but again, not an exciting meal. It was boiling the bag rice, so it wasn't exactly difficult to make. But I was in a bit of a rush because I had to get some work done before I go to the gym because you do have to prioritise. It is the end of the year, I've got assessments due in, so I do have to prioritise my work. Uh, but I've managed to squeeze it in and now I can go to the gym. So I'm wearing my Under Armour top and my shorts as normal, as you can see there. I'm about to put my black fly knits on, my black Nike fly knits. Uh, and we're going to train chest today because it was because we missed a couple of days. Gym was closed Monday, Tuesday uh, because it was bank holiday. I don't know why it was closed Tuesday because bank holiday is Monday, but uni decided to keep it clo closed. Sorry, on uh, on Tuesday as well. So we're running a lot behind. So today is chest day. So I'll see you guys in the gym. How's it going guys? Hopefully you've enjoyed the first few minutes of this video. If you did, then please let me know by leaving a like in the comment section. Here we are in the gym training chest and triceps. First starting off with the flat bench press. Usual form applies, retracting that scapula, minimizing the use of other muscles in the movement. Moving on to incline, you can't actually tell because of the angle, so lesson learned from that. I'll use a different angle next time, but there is a slight incline on the bench. Again, retracting that scapula, ensuring that we're using as few muscles in the movement as possible and putting as much emphasis on the chest as possible. All this allows us to do, guys, is to ensure that we're actually growing the muscles we want to grow. So lots of people also say that they get shoulder pain when they bench. It's because they don't retract their scapula properly. So moving on to chest flies. I don't like to go too heavy on these at all, guys. I just focus on the contraction. I take it back nice and slow and squeeze, getting the time and attention on the muscles, letting the muscles do the work rather than your ego. 
Moving on to tricep pushdown. You can see my friend Billy in the background there. We did this workout together. It was a great workout, and he's actually doing them with one hand, but I, as usual, doing them with two. You see my form deteriorating here, where I actually do a drop set. You see me struggling there. I realize I can't go any further, so I drop the weight, drop the ego, and finish my set like that. I actually did a burnout set, which I'll come to regret, as you'll see right here, where I do some skull crushers with a heavier weight than normal because it's what Billy was using, and it was just easier because we're training together. So you can see me struggling from the start here. So with the power of editing, let's just skip to the end of the set, where it was actually supersetted with some close grip bench press. This was then followed by some overhead tricep press, hitting the tricep from those different angles, getting the most out of the workout. Uh, actually, I only did one set of the Skull Crushers super set uh, because it was just too heavy and it just wasn't working for me. The burnout set on the tricep push down really killed me. Um, so that was enough for the workout. Sometimes you have to listen to your body rather than with your ego. So that was it for this workout and we actually left the gym in perfect condition, as everybody should. My usual routine of filling up the water and leaving the gym on my way to the library where I had to print off a couple of bits. From there I actually headed straight back to the flat where I had the chance to finally show you some of the campus. With it being the end of first year now, I'm glad that I finally get to show you some of the campus in the dark as well, using the camera to its full ability. Just look at this, I did a slow pan just to make it all dramatic. If you ever think of coming to this uni, then I would definitely recommend it. Right guys, so um, I'm on my way back from the gym now. And I just thought I'd test the camera out on the way home. Uh, in this low light condition, uh, let me tell you, it's pretty damn dark. But on the screen above me, um, you can actually see myself clearer than I can see that lamppost right there. Um, so, review of the camera in the dark. Pretty damn good. What's up guys, back from the gym now, uh, taking my top off because it was sweaty as hell and I already had to go into the library in that top which was not very pleasant at all um, so now I've got back going to get my post workout meal I've got some fajitas tonight so I've got plenty of chicken and an old El Paso fajita mix so we're cheating a little bit but we're going to make fajitas um, there's going to be a lot so I'm sharing it with Charlotte I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of gym footage uh, stay tuned and subscribe for more if you want to see that in the next few videos so I'll catch you guys at dinner <clears throat> uh, okay, I lied. Um, I forgot to show you dinner. We had a bit of a crisis. Um, the chicken that I was going to use to make the fajitas was actually out of date, quite a way out of date, and I had no idea. So we had a bit of a crisis. Luckily, I had some steak, um, so I had some steak and uh, a few chips as well. And I got a bit caught up in all of the madness and completely forgot to even record me cooking the steak. So yeah, really good dinner, uh, really good day. Fairly productive, got a lot of work done, got a good workout. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments section if you did. Uh, and I've got a long day tomorrow, so I might not be able to vlog at all, in fact, because I'm in 9 till 12 and then I... So I that camera went dead uh, because I actually ran out of space on my memory card. I either need to clear, clear some space on my body power memory card or buy a new one. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet because I want to keep the body power clips uh, as a reserve for next year when um, I can do like a sort of flashback in the body power highlights video for next year um, so that's the reason I'm ho hanging on to that um, but anyway I've uh, been recording for 30 seconds already so I'm gonna go I'll try and vlog as much as I can tomorrow uh, but if not then I'll catch you guys in the next video maybe see you in the morning too not too sure if it ends here then uh, I'm done but if not then I'll see you in the morning if it ends here then I'm sorry and I'll catch you guys in the next video Bye.